Are bats OP? I love these videos. They're great. Enemy spotted. This Not episode bad. is sponsored by Curiosity Stream. You'd be hard pressed to come up with a build that had a greater impact on the metagame in 2020 than the bat build. And while they certainly do have an uncanny affinity for spawning mutated zoonotic viruses, there's a lot more to bats than just that. How about we just stop eating ba uh, in bats? Several ways. So today we're breaking down the bat just build. Just a suggestion. Its stats, special abilities, matchup spread, unique class variants, and finally where they place overall in Maybe the Maybe cook them better. So without further ado, let's get into it. Ah. The bat sports a pretty wide range of both high and low stats. <clears throat> Their key stat is mobility, of course, and it's kind of a given that any flying build will have high aerial mobility but be lacking in their other movement options. Bats take this a step further though, having thinner, more flexible wings that cover both their arms and legs that allow for far greater speed and precision of movement mid-air than most bird builds can achieve. In fact, while technically That's cool. peregrine falcons can reach higher speeds during their dives, bats actually hold the record Jeez. for the fastest That's flight so scary. speed in the game. This incredible mobility comes at a cost, though. I don't attack we'll humans, bats do they? Other stats. Bats have some of the weakest defenses. <clears throat> we used to have them at like camp and stuff. They used to fly around all the time. Are far less resistant to tears <clears throat> and scratches than feathered wings, meaning even a single hit from a relatively weak attack or mid-air collision might mean game over for a bat player. The bat's other stats also tend to be quite low. They aren't exactly stealthy flyers. Yeah, I'm, much yeah. More noise than I'd be fine right there. Like the that wouldn't, buy, that wouldn't bother me at all for some reason. Damage output. This makes sense though, as they don't really need it for but offense. Rats would. I don't and know why. If they're ever attacked, their defense and HP are so <clears> low <throat> that it would already be too late to strike back. So it's actually optimal to just stick to their hypermobile strategy and hope their other special abilities can carry them. A crocodile. Before we get into discussing special abilities, first we have to break down the different variations within the bat class since the most important special abilities are not shared among all bats. All oh. of these variations fall into one of two categories. Mega bats? Micro bats and mega bats. Micro bats are smaller and have a highly specialized internal play style. They heavily favored spending <clears throat> evolution points on their hearing sense rather than vision, and so their eyes are quite small and not very useful. However, in addition to having excellent hearing, the micro bats' heavy investment into the auditory skill tree grants them access to an extremely powerful unique ability, Echolocation. Echolocation is a sound-based perception perk that allows the user to completely negate any stealth bonuses a player would normally have because of camouflage. It also allows bats to track the location of other flying players in the air, giving them greatly increased accuracy against airborne targets. It also greatly lowers the risk of collision while flying in tightly packed groups or through dense forests. This ability is definitely the most impressive aspect of the bat build, and the most integral to making their nocturnal playstyle viable. While most microbats survive entirely via the XP they get from PvP against flying insects, the microbat faction also contains the Vampire Bat, a strange parasitic build that uses its flight ability to stealthily drain small amounts of HP from other players. While I like the concept in theory, I feel like the Bloodsucker playstyle is done much more effectively by builds like the Mosquito and Tick. I've never seen a Mosquito suck blood from a fucking attacks, snake. Even when the target is wide awake. Vampire Bats, on the other hand, are not stealthy enough to drain a full blood meal from a conscious target. And given their extremely low defense, they cannot risk taking a hit while draining HP. It's likely that the Vampire Bats had far more success back before the truly giant mammal builds got banned as these mammals would have had much more difficulty detecting <clears throat> and squatting away such a small flying parasite. Aside from also having the ability to fly, the Megabat faction has a very different strategy than Microbats. The Megabat player base is diurnal, and as such, they did not spec far into the auditory skill tree at the cost of their vision. Quite the opposite, in fact. Megabats have excellent vision, but they cannot use the echolocation ability. In theory, this is a better strategy, rather Why than spending that? a bunch cute. of evolution points on the expensive high-level sonar. That is adorable. Ability. It's more efficient to just go for a more standard vision <laughs> like, It looks like a little dog. Left over to pump into things like direct base stat boosts. Thanks because of the nose. This allows megabats to grow several times larger than their nocturnal cousins. Yeah, no, he's cute now, as due fuck, to their lack of echolocation, there's pretty much no way they could attack flying okay, insects. Okay, yeah, with any like, sort of megabats. Microbats so are a little, megabats little homely looking, but yeah, no, that's cute and use their power of flight to access the best loot, similar to parrots. 
despite being a much easier play style. Yeah, it looks like a dog, like a wolf, really as viable like as a canine. Strategy. Base, at least. There's enough fruit around to sustain that must be the energy why. needs required by a flying mammal. And then the wings are just badass. So how do bats fare against their yeah, most that's common just, encounters? That's just homely said, looking. Before, micro bats have excellent matchups against flying insects. That's pretty much a given since they're specifically specialized for that matchup. Moths in particular have actually started specking into their own sonar abilities in order to jam bat echolocation so that they aren't such a free kill all the time. This still has a long way to go before it has much of an effect on the matchup though. Microbats are also occasionally able to score kills on amphibian players. Yeah. Though personally, I see this as more of an indictment of the frog's abysmal defensive stats than it is praise of the bat's offensive He's ability. Sitting there like, yeah. Surprisingly, the yeah, I die right bats now. Are stationary yeah, yeah. That's me. Since echolocation doesn't do a great job picking out other players who aren't moving. Snakes in particular can detect them using their heat vision and can lash out and score a kill while they're passing by. Oh, that's Spider pretty cool. webs can pose a major problem to That's what I thought when we saw too, that first little thing. Yeah, most bats okay. Are actually light enough to be restrained mid-flight if they run into them. However, yeah, that'd be an issue. Can yeah, that. I was like, how does he get out of this? Location and snatch them right out of their web. So this matchup is by no means one-sided. Yeah, but he has all that web on him now. Allows bats to detect players hey. that made the mistake of being at the surface of the water, even in the dark. Making an attack on one of these targets is a bit of a gamble too, though. Megabats, in contrast, have great difficulty dealing with birds of prey. Since they have no sonar for early detection of an incoming attack, they can be taken down both mid-flight and while hiding in trees by aggressive raptor oh. players. They're just However, napping. with their large frame, they're also far better in the intimidation just department. Getting meaning they hauled can frighten away. players away who might challenge their control. Oh, that bat has big resources. old nuts. Jesus Christ. They're slightly higher Boy, be packing. Stats, while still not great, can also let them tank a hit or two if they get lucky. Wouldn't exactly rely on this, but still, credit where credit is due. The last Same. thing to mention is the bats matchup against disease. So bats actually have one of the highest disease resistances in the game. Something they really do need because they live in such close quarters with each other. Because of this, the pathogen mains who do target bats have to spec into some extremely powerful virulence perks, which is why the pathogens that switch targets from bats to something else tend to be quite difficult uh, for non-bat to fend off. Oh, that's Their why. incredible immune systems seem to Rabbits have a secondary effect fuck when they on granting bats unnaturally Bro, long lives. Monster hive. Most builds with yeah, similar probably, like, and fuck. sizes to bats. Like, oh shit, Only I was on the ground and now I'm in the air? Overall, this isn't I good. I don't belong in here. I don't belong here. Your choice of abilities is expensive, and I'm not entirely sure that it has paid off when weighted against the sacrifices they had to make to their base stats. Of the three flying factions in the game, I actually think bats rank the lowest overall. Yeah, Birds have their yeah, exactly. in terms of versatility and practicality. Oh, I don't think I slept very good. My back hurts. Uh, what the fuck? Why are we so high? Insects have bats beat in terms of defense, <laughs> being able to fly while still rocking some pretty solid armor. Nonetheless, the bat's flight precision dog is love quite respectful. Baby rabbits. <laughs> Jesus Highly skilled Christ. bat players can accomplish quite a lot using the bat's uh. limited tools. I expect the bat's position on the tier list to rise the as the dogs or something? continues to centralize around the city biome, something microbats excel at. A dog would be scared the bats of rabbits. Incredible disease resistance is also not to be overlooked. In fact, human data miners are trying to crack the code miners? to see if the bat's immunity is Bitcoin? something that can be used as a model for advancing the human's medicine ability. Video is making this me is want to go catch some bats. I haven't done that. Series catch bats, which chronicles I've the research that, that was done this year regarding the human right, nerves so the human like player base had stuff. to deal with in 2020. You can where did they place the them? Right now by signing up for Wait, where did they place? Curiosity. I expect the bat's position on the tier list to rise as the current meta continues. Nonetheless, the bat's flight precision is quite respectable, and highly skilled bat players can accomplish quite a lot using the bat's limited tools. You catch them, then I expect toss them the bat's position on the tier list to rise as the I missed. This one is that tools. I expect the bat. C, high C, because he goes this far over and then it's B. So high C tier, just behind the moose. I'd like to see a moose be bat. Uh, you know, big fucking me, sir, dude.